hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of avg news my name is Mpoli Singube, and i want to update uh, on a story which is doing the rounds on whatsapp many of you could have seen a link that has been shared or a piece of story that has been shared with probably a paragraph or uh, and some pictures uh, it is a story regarding the discovery of uh, 27 bodies all male uh, in zambia uh, these people are believed to have been uh, ethiopian migrants uh, who were on their way probably to south africa so people are asking if this is a genuine story uh, yes the story is very much genuine uh, it goes uh, Zimbabwean police, a Zambian police rather on Sunday found 27 bodies of men believed to be migrants from Ethiopia. Uh, these bodies were found dumped in a farming area on the outskirts of the capital city of Zambia, which is Lusaga. And it is believed that they died from suspected hunger and exhaustion. Uh, a soil survivor uh, was found alive in the early hours of Sunday morning and rushed to a hospital in Lusaka for treatment while the dead were transported to the mortuary for identification and post-mortem to examine the exact cause uh, of their death. So preliminary police uh, investigations, according to the Times newspaper, uh, Sunday Times, uh, showed the victims were all males aged between 20 and 38 and they had been dumped along a road by unknown people. So police and other security wings have since instituted uh, investigations into the matter. Uh, we are told that Ethiopian migrants often use Zambia when traveling to countries such as South Africa, uh, though reports uh, of their deaths in transit are very rare. So this is a sad story uh, that uh, we woke up to this morning. Many of you could have already read about it uh, because it was first reported on 11 December. So the story that you are seeing being circulated on social media is actually true. It is quite a sad event. We hope that the police are going to account for whoever dumped these bodies uh, on the roadside. And this shows that uh, Africa is in dire condition in as far as uh, conflict is concerned, economic downturns is concerned, and political upheavals. This calls for African leaders, especially those that sit in the AU and SADC, to sit down and try and review uh, the conditions under which some governments uh, are prevailing, or on which uh, governments are prevailing, uh, are reigning, because uh, this is not a, a once-off incident. We know that some time ago, there were more than 20 bodies again of people who suffocated on their way from Botswana to South Africa being carried in a tanker and they were also from either Ethiopia or Somalia I forget uh, which country exactly but it's one of those two countries and we know of people that are dying trying to cross the Limpopo River from Zimbabwe uh, into South Africa this all because of uh, a serious economic downturn in that country, there are Malawians again who have to cross, uh, Malawians and Mozambicans who have to cross through the Kruger National Park. Some of them get mauled by, uh, by lions there. Some die on the way because of starvation. So these are the issues that need to be attended to because people cannot continue after so many years uh, of independence to cross over through an orthodox means trying to get to areas where they believe there will be safety or areas where there will be better life opportunities. So this is the story that we thought we had to confirm because there have been people asking if these are genuine uh, stories. And yes, indeed, unfortunately, it is a true state of affairs. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.